Hey guys, and uh, welcome to my tutorial on how to optimize your Eternos server. Uh, I've been, I watched a lot of uh, tutorials on how to do it on YouTube, and a lot of them are pretty similar. They tell you to install ClearLag, and that's about it. Um, now, I don't know. I've never really used too much. I think I used ClearLag once, but I, I don't feel it does as good of a job, and Personally, I think there's a lot more that you can do to optimize your server, which I'm going to show here. Now, of course, we are going to change the software to uh, paper still. We're not going to install any plugins, but we're going to need paper installed for some of the things we're going to be doing. So that's the first thing. So now that we have this installed, there's one other thing I want to do before we get into a guide I found. We're going to want to go down to going to go to options and you want to go down to your environment. Now the default is Java 17. However, I found that using Java 17, this, this growl VM, I think that's how I pronounce it actually works much better. So now that we have uh, that going, we're going to actually really get, we're going to get into the guide. Now, uh, this guide I found, I'll put a link in the description by Celeb. Brim, 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 I don't know how to pronounce his name. I'm not gonna lie, um, but he, but he made a nice guide that can actually kind of work on any server, any any server that uses a uh, bucket or spigot or paper. Um, we're gonna be using it for our Turno server to help it run better because we're as good as we can. Um, ooh, okay, so it looks like I'm actually going to have to start the server first so it loads some of these files that I need. So we're gonna want to launch our server and I'll be back uh, when we have our files. Okay, and now my server is started. And now another um, benefit you may see to having paper MC installed is that they give you 400 megabytes more of RAM, which it's not a lot, but hey, better than nothing. Um, so now let's take a look. I should have my files that I need. There we go. So our first um, file we're going to go into is we're going to go to bucket.yml. Now to help uh, make this go faster, uh, if you can't find anything, of course, just go to find and edit. If you're using Chrome, if you're using another uh, um, browser, I guess, get your equivalent. And the first thing we're going to be changing is actually right here. How convenient. Spawn limits. So now this limits how many of a mob uh, will spawn to help. So, uh, you know, make your server run better. So we're going to change monsters to 50. I'm actually going to leave animals alone because I found animals rarely spawn in a turno server already. So we're just going to leave those guys alone. We're going to change the water animals. Um, what do we want? I think, uh, three should be good. Water ambient. We're going to change this down to like 10. Um, and ambient. We'll change this down to five. Now our next one right here, chunk GC. I'm going to change this from 600 to 400. Now that what this does is it'll unload your vacant chunks faster. So it's using less resources on those chunks. All right. So our next one, uh, we're going to be changing the ticks per. So now basically every tick that the server runs, it's going to attempt to spawn these creatures. Uh, so for monsters, so instead of, you know, I mean, this, this is happening like 20 ticks per second if your server is running. Uh, well, so we're going to want to change that. We're going to lower that. So I'm going to change monsters to five. Water spawns to 11. Water ambient spawns to 21. And ambient spawns to 31. Broke it there. there we go. So this should be all the optimizations we're going to do in Bucket. So we'll save that. And we'll go to the next uh, file we want to edit, which is spigot.yml. All right, so we have a couple of things we want to edit here. So we're all right, we're going to want to go down to mob spawn range. Now, this is less of a this is more of a cosmetic 
um, change. So basically, it's gonna. This is the range of how many chunks away mobs will spawn. Now this is set to eight. Now Eternos is only really like rendering like five chunks. Um, so it's it's not even able to do that. So what we're gonna do is actually gonna set this to four. Now this will help change. It'll condense the mobs better because you've already lowered it, so it's gonna look. It may, may, it may look a little thin on the mobs, so we're gonna condense them together, and it's just gonna make it look a little nicer. Now our next one we're going to want to edit is enemy act entity activation range. So what this does is after the mobs are past a certain point, it's going to start ticking them less. So this is 32 blocks away, animals will be ticked less. So we're going to change this to 16. We're going to change monsters to 24. And we're going to change miscellaneous to 8. Now, according to the guide, you don't really want to touch this because it might break some mechanics. So we're just going to leave that alone. Um, so this is all the... Um, all the optimizations I'm doing on speaker.yml. A little reminder is that if, once again, you check the guide and you want to optimize more, uh, go for it. I mean, your server. So the last one we're going to want is we're going to want to go to go to your your, your home files thing. Go to want to click on con the configure folder. And in here, here you'll find a paper world world defaults. YML. And I want to open that. And here is where we'll add our final optimizations. We're going to want to go to max auto save chunks per tick. This is set to 24. So whenever your world is saving, it is saving 24 chunks per tick. Uh, so this may cause your server to lag a little. So to help avoid that, we're going to lower this down to 8. I try not to go any lower than this. As if you set it too low, you'll, you might have some unsaved chunks and you don't want that. So let's set that to eight. And we're going to go down. I'm going to find, if I can find it. Ah, here we go. I almost forgot about this one. The despawn ranges. So now what these do is that when they are, when, so for example, you have your ambient mobs. mobs. When they are 128 blocks away, they are instantly deleted. Uh, when they are 32 blocks away, occasionally they'll be deleted. So every now and then. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this to 90. So we're going to change all of these. Um, the hard is going to be set to 96 and the soft is going to be set to 28. So all of them, the hard, 96, soft, 28. Now then, we have one more little optimization I want to do. And for the final one, you're going to want to go down to grass spread. Now, grass spread, every one tick, the server is going to try to spread grass and all of the chunks to where grass can spread. So to help uh, fix this a little, we're going to set that from a 1 to a 4 to help make it run a little smoother. Now, that's... That's all the optimizations I'm going to be covering in this video. Um, the results may vary. Um, it should make your um, help run your server a little smoother. I know from my experience it has, and uh, hopefully it will work for you too. Uh, thanks for watching, and um, see you in my next video.